When I first saw the camera menu in the Mavic Pro, it was pretty confusing. Especially the style menu gave me a lot of headache. Getting the style settings right is really important for the final result. The actual settings that is right for you depends on if you want to use uh, the footage directly out of the drone or if you want to spend time on post-processing. Welcome to this series of tips and tricks that will help you make better and smoother footage with your Mavic Pro. We are uploading drone and e-wheel related material weekly to help you get the best out of your equipment. So if you're new to this channel then press subscribe and also hit the bell notification uh, icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. The styles menu is divided into three parts where the first one is uh, digital sharpness, the second one is uh, contrast and the last one is saturation. Each parameter can be adjusted from minus three to plus three where a higher value means more. The first one is digital sharpness. Digital sharpness allows you to make the picture sharper. This has to be used with caution because otherwise the picture will look all exaggerated and not natural at all. The second one is contrast. With a higher contrast value, you make the black darker and the whites brighter. It works the opposite uh, way around with a lower contrast value. The last one is saturation. Saturation is uh, how much the colors are saturated in the picture. With a higher saturation value, the colors tend to pop a bit more in the picture, where with a lower value, it's looking flat and uninspiring. In the following footage, I have taken uh, sharpness, contrast and saturation from the minimum to the maximum, step by step. Okay. The footage has been recorded in 4K, 30 frames per second. White balance was set to sunny. I've been using an ND16 filter and uh, the color profile is selected to none. In this way, you can see what each parameter is doing to the picture. I got trapped in your eyes the moment you looked at me. From across the room, those eyes kept following me. Something popped in my brain, no oh, baby, only you I see. Feels like I'm going insane and Save me Feels like I'm drowning In ocean's blue Baby, come on, come on Baby, baby, come on Let's go I'm losing control of the lights in this place Keep jumping around, all I see is your face But you're moving closer, no time to escape Your hand on my shoulder shoots me into space And I As you probably noticed, changing each parameter in steps did not change the picture very much. So the big question is, what is the right setting for you? If sharpness, contrast and saturations are turned uh, all the way down, they can always be added in again in post-production. I would go for something like minus uh, one, minus three, minus three, to preserve as much information as I can in the picture. This would be my preferred setting because I always post-process my videos. But not everybody wants to post-process. They just want footage that looks good right out of the camera. So maybe uh, they should select a more neutral setting and bump the saturation a bit. So a good starting point would be zero, zero, plus one. I can't give you the exact setting that you need to use because this is up to personal preference. But I would encourage you to go out and shoot some test footage with these uh, basic settings and uh, adjust it from here. Let me know in the comment section below what settings has worked out for you. Hope you enjoyed this episode of tips and tricks to make a better and smoother video with your Mavic. If so, hit the like button below, press the subscribe button through the logo, and see you on the next one.